Well, hello, hello, Freedom Cruiser Holic family. We are back updating you on some Carnival Cruise Line updates. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Terry. I'm Stacy. And we're Freedom Cruiser Holics. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we and you are. know we always keep a drink in hand. Don't we, baby? Mm. Always. We're not alcoholics. We just like. We enjoy drink. Stop playing. We're functioning ones, though. Mm -hmm. You know, we can still handle our business. Don't y'all be trying to take this and show it to HR or something like this. Stop playing. That's so messy. Oh. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. Go take it to HR. They know that they'll do something like that. Stop being so messy. <laughs> that part. But for real. Y'all women that be doing that. Women. Just it messy. is some trifling women out there behind yeah. y'all. It be some men doing that crap too. <laughs> they they, they want to throw the rock and hide the hand as your grandma say. Oh, yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. some messy men and some gossiping. They say they don't want to be a part of it, and then say, what, what you say about it? They, they are, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. But today, we're going to be talking about Carnival Cruise Line and how they are stepping up their game with this cleaning thing. Please, y'all, because we love to cruise, and we want to continue to cruise. Let's get this thing cleaned. That's right. Sanitize. Sanitize, sanitize. What'd I say? Sanitize. <laughs> <laughs> So we are glad to see that Carnival Cruise Line is stepping up, stepping up their game. Excuse me, um, with cleaning their ships even more since this Corona pandemic, right? So uh, we've been doing a little bit of research and we've been getting a little uh, information from the inside. So we're going to share that with you a little bit. Let's do it, baby. So. Um, Carnival Cruise Line, as you already know, if you've never cruised with Carnival, because that's who we predominantly cruise with, um, Carnival Cruise Line already has things in place like uh, hand washing stations. Um, I think they have a couple of them throughout the ship, and they have included some more. And they have um, sanitation sanitizer stations right on the outsides of any entrance where there is food being served. That is a plus. Yeah. On both sides, because you can go into the Lido from the left of the ship, or what they would say, the port side, or the sea side. So that's great that they don't just have it on one side. They now have them on both sides of the Lido, because the, the Lido is going to be right there in the mid part of the ship. So you're going to have sanitation um, stations coming from the aft of the ship as okay. well as coming from the forward of the ship. When I say forward, that's the front of the ship. If you want to know any more information about the different portions and parts of the ship and the accommodations in, in those parts of the ship, there's a video um, within our library that you can search and find out more information about the different parts of the ship and the accommodations on the ship. Exactly. Um, so having those extra hand sanitizer stations at the entrance of any place that is serving food is a great, great enhancement, um, increasing that. Um, so kudos to Carnival for that. They, if, you're, if you've ever been on a cruise ship, and like I say, we predominantly cruise with Carnival, you'll notice that you're always seeing the crew members. And these crew members, they work hard. You always see them cleaning something. Yeah, the whole time. The whole time. Yeah. Cleaning something or working on something. Exactly. But guess what? Carnival's been getting ready and have started implementing more frequent sanitizing of different areas. And when I say certain areas, meaning the heavily trafficked areas and public places, such as the Adult Serenity Deck the miniature golf and the um, waterworks. Okay. Things where people go to all the time. The spa. Okay. When you're on the Adult Serenity Deck, no kids are allowed, so make sure you visit this Adult Serenity Deck. You'll love it. And there's a bar up there too, so you don't have to come all the way down and get your drink. The bar is right there, girl. So, um, <laughs> with that being said, they're sanitizing the hammocks the outdoors lounge chairs that's on the adult serenity deck as well as on the Leo deck. And you'll see lounge chairs throughout the ship on the sea side and on the port side. 
the jacuzzis. There are several jacuzzis upon the ships. If you're on a smaller ship, you may only have one or two jacuzzis, one at the aft of the ship and one at the forward of the ship. If you're yeah. on a bigger ship, you'll have maybe three or four jacuzzis. Two will be where the Lido is, right on the side of the Lido. One will be on the aft of the ship, one will be on the forward of the ship. And sometimes they'll have one directly on the Lido itself. So it depends on the size ship that you're on as to how many jacuzzis are going to be there. And yeah. they frequently, uh, you will see them shut down the jacuzzi so that they can clean it out, drain the oh, water, yeah. refill it up, make sure it has the right consistency of chlorine and things to keep it um, clean and sanitized for everyone that's using exactly. the jacuzzis. Also, you'll see them wiping down the handrails yeah. all throughout the ship now. They you I didn't really see them doing a whole bunch of that before. I I, I seen them even do that before. The so rails? They, yes. I'm mean, drinking they honey. I don't <laughs> be paying attention. Yeah. yeah, I mean I always see them cleaning stuff. So for them to be stepping it up, I mean So I, maybe they're putting something else in to their um cleaning supplies and, and what they're good I always used to see them with their uh washcloth or sanit yeah. sanitizing wipe or whatever. So maybe it's something that they're utilizing versus spraying it as an aerosol and getting it all in the air. Maybe it's something some chemical that they're using to wipe everything down. But see now they're gonna get deep into it like even doing like the menus and just just every little small oh, little yeah. thing like that. The menus. Um Casino, oh, stuff in the, oh, casino, the casino, the yeah. chips. They're doing the chips now, the, the slot machines, or <laughs> oh, that's the um, poker machines. Uh, anything that a person is touching is getting sanitized frequently throughout the day. Yeah. They're not resting. They're sh changing shifts to continuously keep the ships sanitized and keep the guests safe at all times. Even down to the buttons in the elevator. The rails yes. in the hallways, the doorknobs to your cabins and staterooms. Because you may not believe this, but people are always touching your doorknob. It's not just you that's touching your doorknob. Why do they touch your doorknob and that's not their door? I don't know. But they yeah. do. Some people just graze their hand down the side of the wall <laughs> when they're walking. or They got to grab this. And sometimes people just shake the... the and you know, because we've been in our room before and somebody... You know, I'm like, okay, what are they doing? Yes. But they were just walking down the hallway. Most of the time, it's not an adult that's doing it. It's their child that's yeah. doing it. So you exactly. wouldn't think that your doorknob is being touched by everybody, just you and the stewardess, but I beg to differ. Yes. Your doorknob is being touched so much, and they're wiping down these doorknobs. If you are in your stateroom, they are wiping your staterooms down two or three times a day. If you seem like you have allergies, yes, they're doing a deep cleaning on your room. Because whether you believe it or not, there are thousands of people that frequently, and that ship is turned over every three days, every four days, every five days, every six and seven days, and sometimes every eight days. New passengers are always coming on. And when I tell you, they are wiping that stuff down. They are wiping, they are strict, they, it's a system. And they have it down pat. And they are sanitizing these things. So they have to make sure that they're wiping things down and sanitizing things in their entirety. And now they're doing it 10 times mm -hmm. more yeah. because of this coronavirus. And I commend them for it. It's hard work for them. So if you're cruising, and I know some people, they may not want to tip their um, stewardess or that cleaning person. Tip them. Yeah. They're not making a whole lot of money. And we're not saying that you're mandated to do this. But just for them doing their job of keeping you safe and keeping all guests safe, tip them. Exactly. I mean, even if you don't have it to do every single person, if there's a main person that's taking care of you that whole trip, I mean, you know, just, just make sure you take care of them. You mm -hmm. know, do, do what you can, you know. So, so um, yes, they're, they're stepping it up. And one of the uh, things that we found to be very impressive, when you're on the Lido deck and you're eating off the buffet, a lot of people like to eat in the buffet because you can eat whenever you want to. Oh, yeah. Get it whenever you want to. Yeah. 
Now with this corona going around, they're revamping the way that they do that as well. They're, they will be serving you your food versus every person coming behind you and the person that you're going behind grabbing the same spoon. I mean, people might not like that. That people probably prefer to, you know, to fix their own. But y'all, it's for our own safety, you know. Well, I don't know if you done scratched your head or scratched your ass. <laughs> I mean, it's true. But you know, you usually want to get up there and fix your own food. You you know how much you want to get. You know what I'm saying? And if they serve it, you know they're gonna give you a little little small portion to try to make it stretch and stuff like that. When I That's go there for breakfast. And I ask for my grits, they give me my grits, right? Yo, and if it's and not enough, she'll, she'll hand it back. I'm like, baby, come on, you can come back. I asked him for three pieces of ham. Man. But they Greedy always try to man. give you bacon because the bacon is thinner and it's cheaper. I said, give me three pieces of ham. Three. I give him a number. I don't say give me some ham. No, but give when me we go ham, through that three. walk line, you want all three all three meats, all three uh, sauces. All... I'm like, baby. They, Terry, they, 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 cut, they cutting it down now. They ain't going to give you all that now. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. They'll still they, give it to you. You're just not going to reach in there and get it. <laughs> Which on the <laughs> on the Mongolian walk, you don't reach you in there and get it anyway. Baby. The only Great. thing that you reach and get is your different uh, variety of vegetables that you put in your bowl. Now, I'm curious to see how they're going to do yeah. that because there are different types of vegetables that you put in your bowl on that Mongolian walk. And then you reach them the bowl. And then they put your meats in there. But all your vegetables you choose on your own. So now, yeah, you're probably going to have to just tell them. They're going to hold your bowl. You're probably going to have to tell them your, your vegetables. And they're just going to have to pick it out themselves. And then hand it to the man to cook. I mean, we probably not going to be I mean, that's, and that's fine because I don't put a whole bunch of that stuff in there. Because I'm a carnivore. I want meats. Yeah, you, you, meat. you, you hog and eat meat. all the meat. <laughs> don't, I don't want all them vegetables and noodles in my bowl. Don't put all them noodles in my bowl. So I, I'm glad that we were choosing that because I don't want to. Some people try to give you a lot of uh, noodles and stuff. Don't nobody want that. We want meat. Maybe you need those vegetables. You need vegetables. Do my skin look like I need vegetables? I'm a meat person. <laughs> How you say it, baby? Meat. All, All right. up in there. Okay. I'm just saying. See, he starts this kind of stuff with me, and then he starts sweating. I try to get up. Oh, I try to get y'all. He can't take it. When it get hot in the kitchen, his ass got to go. Okay, but they're serving you, oh, and now I like that. I mean, I like that because some people, like I said, they're scratching the head, scratching the head. Babe, I'm sorry. I know you. When we go and they do that, you greedy. And when they try to give you that little small portion of whatever we we going for breakfast, something like that, you're going to be looking, that eyebrow going to go up. You're going to be looking like, what? And know what I'll say politely. <laughs> May I have some more? Now, I'll do polite with you. Now, don't yeah, act no. stupid. May I have Let's some see. more? But, you know, this can be a plus for a carnival. Because just how we talked about it in one of our other videos, we've seen people go up there and get all them damn cinnamon rolls, all them bread, and they yeah. leave the table with all this shit. Yeah. Because their eyes are so wide, and then they can't get eat it all. That's true. But that's going to save carnival. With them serving like that, that's going to save them more money. And in hindsight, it's going to show carnival how much food is being wasted, the value of it. Yeah. Maybe to bring down the price of the cruise some more. <laughs> they start doing that. I doubt that, big long as that, that line, it don't say you can walk through one time and that's it, then that's when the shit going to hit the damn thing. <laughs> they better not ever do they that. They better not ever do that. For real. Yeah. Don't so, I, I, I think that's good that they're serving you because sometimes, this does bother me. We don't let our child do this. And he's eight. Yeah. I really feel like a child should not go up there and fix their own plate. I agree. If they're maybe 10 years or older... Maybe. We've seen kids yeah. fix their own plate and they drop the food and then they pick the food up and put it back over <laughs> in the thing. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And they here? think they're doing good. You know, okay, I'm trying to clean they're it They're cleaning up, up behind themselves, but, but they're putting no. it back in the thing. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's a no-no. Yeah. But you can't say, you know, but this one woman, she did. She told that little boy, <laughs> she told that little boy, don't put that in there. Not that, but you see him and they'll do like this to your child. No, don't do they're, that. And then leave it and just keep going. I'm like, Look, you corrected them, but you still the food is still it's back in there. But Come on. They, she it pissed her off. No, but I'm just saying <laughs> that's why kids should not be serving their own self. Yeah. Now I'm curious to see how it's gonna work because they also said 
that they were going to be um, serving the ice cream. That ain't going to work. I'm letting you know right now. That's not going to work. First and foremost, somebody's standing there. Uh-uh. Come on. You're not, you're not drinking it. You didn't bring the bottle in there? I didn't. I, I'm done. With I'm that. scared to ask you for them to let you take a sip because you don't know what a sip is. This is ain't no damn 40. I just want a little bit. Just... I'm going to give you a little bit. It's... She's sitting here and just babysitting it. Thank you. I do babysit my stuff. Yeah, I'll be trying to save stuff for a rainy day. I go in there to get my shit for a rainy day and the motherfucking uh, floor fell out. Where's the soap for your mouth, babe? We recycled it on Carnival last cruise. Went on, remember? <laughs> okay. okay. They, was right. taking soap. <laughs> they was taking soap and we recycled that soap so I don't get my mouth washed out in Timor. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm glad of that. But no. Yeah, so fixing the ice cream, I just don't see someone standing there serving ice cream unless they make the stations because right now the stations are set up just like um it's flat against the wall and you grab your cone and you pull the thing down to get your thing unless they yeah. revamp it and have an ice cream parlor like baskin robbins or something like that where somebody's standing behind and they ask you what flavor you want and they give it to you i think that's going to be hard okay. to regulate that yeah I mean, I'm curious to see, you know. Because people go through there all the time wanting ice cream and stuff like that. I just don't see someone standing there. Um, yeah. You remember some, one of the people says that, because we used to see them in different parts of the ship, and they'll say, oh, during the day I do this, and at night I do this. Yeah. So do they have enough people to fluctuate between the different stations? So the ice cream, people are getting ice cream all the time. And some of the ships have 3,000 people, 5,000 people, or 4,000 yeah. people on it. I don't think they got well, Mardi Gras is going to have about 5,000 people. We'll be on that in 2021. Yeah, we'll see you there. Ready. Um, But I just don't see them having enough people to serve ice cream that frequently. No, I mean, I agree. I mean, I'm curious to see. But um, I don't know, y'all, how they're going to do it. But this is supposed to be the changes, you know, for to make things more safer. And so. supposedly the only stations that will still be kind of self-serve is that salsa bar. Where they have the uh, blue iguana bar is, oh, and they yeah. have the salsa with the taco and stuff like that. Now, if somebody always serves you your bowl and your meat, and you have to put your own condiment. So the condiment station where Guy's Burger Joint is, where you get your ketchup and mustard and your onions and all that kind of. But goodness. it's gonna be monitored. You guys, it's gonna so. be monitored. Somebody will be there to monitor, heavily monitor it, yeah, and be strict on how you do things. But I think it's still gonna be self serve. Maybe. Yeah, so. If they could start putting the stuff in little cups, like put the salsa in cups, and you just pick up a cup. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And we still, you can get it yourself. Just go pick it up. Oh, but then wouldn't that, that will cross into that plastics thing they were trying to get away from, right? Reusable stuff. Yeah, you can't do everything, though, you know? So I want, I'm, well, I'm no. curious as to how they're going to do it and how they're going to be monitoring stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So the condiment station and the salsa bar where the uh, blue iguana bar is, whether you can get your breakfast burritos and your lunch burritos and your taco salads and stuff like that, that condiment bar, that is going to be a heavily monitored self-service station still. Exactly. Now, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, oh, and in the, in the children's um, camps, they're going to be sanitizing frequently throughout the day the children's toys, the computers, Please. the mouses um, yes. that they use, um, the joysticks for the games in yes. the baby room, sanitizing those toys between the um, between the um, children, making sure that there will be no spread of any kind of germs, especially that hand, foot, and mouth that a lot of kids get from playing with toys that, from other kids and stuff like that. So they're going to be frequently sanitizing those toys and Yes. play items that are in Very those children camps so i was um, glad to hear about that as well yes and they're also going to be increasing the temperatures y'all on the washers and the dryers oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. because you, you know that temperature when it's really really high it kills a lot of bacteria yes so i think that's excellent so i know some of you guys that may know a lot about health care and stuff like that you might say well what about the spores we have not addressed that yet. I don't think they have. But the temperatures are high enough to 
um, get rid of anything and disinfect. Nothing is going to be sterilized, but it will be well disinfected for every customer and every guest. Yeah. yeah. So, um, that's it. What, anything else, baby? Oh, don't forget at night when everybody goes to bed, you know, they be out there moving those chairs and all that stuff. Okay. And they, they disinfect the whole ship at night when people See, are sleeping. Good. Yeah. They, they were already doing that. But they're going to be stepping up that game. Yes. I would like to come out and be smelling bleach. I love the smell of bleach. <laughs> I know they didn't kill something. They got some bleach out there. You know. Exactly. But uh, I think doing that um, at night and enhancing that sanitation of the ship mm -hmm. very much so throughout the day. And um, like they say, doing your staterooms, anything that's touched frequently where there's high traffic areas, they're going to be um, making sure that those areas down to the dining room, the steakhouses, the spa area, all of those things, the gym, the gym, oh, people yeah. sweat and stuff like that and be on the uh, workout equipment, they're going to be well sanitizing all of these public areas to keep you guys safe so like i said in uh, one of our other videos i'm i'm looking forward to cruising more because they yeah. they getting on it yeah i don't know if i eat off the floor but they getting on it exactly. <laughs> and 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 protect yourself individually yes. as well buy exactly. your little hand sanitizers um from the store the sprays bring lysol wipes things that you can wipe things down on your own to keep yourself and your family safe if you yes. don't have those things or you don't have hand sanitizer make your own because bath and body works shutting me down so, so you gotta make your own i work. gotta make my own and i'm yeah so maybe even when this corona thing is over maybe you'll just continue to do that and not keep um visiting you know bath and body works so frequently like you do now you know it's just too much I'm gonna tell we you already don't have any room as it is, so maybe you can just keep making I don't have no more room for my bath and body work. We don't have room for your stuff, so just, you know. I'm going to tell you like our grandbaby told you. Don't. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. You, you're not. I enjoy shopping at Bath and Body Works. You're doing too much. Just make you, you know. Ask him how many he got. Ask me, do he tell me when he run out? Yo, stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> I'm not, yes, you do. Yo, I'm not into no Bath and Body Works stuff. Like, don't do that. She comes home from shopping Bath and Body Works sanitizer, and she brings me a whole bunch of stuff for the men. Try to, oh, baby, look what I got you to make it better for what she, her shopping addiction. I don't care about no lotion and no stuff from there. That's, stop stop that's, playing. That's stop why playing, he is just sitting over there in the bathroom with cobwebs on it. Not. Yeah, I don't care nothing about that. She tried to bring it home and, and you a trip, baby. You a trip. I done put him on blast. <laughs> I done put his ass on blast. But I'm sanitized. Make your it. own. And when you run out, just pull a little bit from the big bottle that you made and just keep using. Don't go. Don't buy no more. But you know what? I might try that because yeah. I know how to make the ones with the oils to make it smell the way I want it to smell. I need to get some, make me some Ralph Lauren one. I like that, that romance. Well, I can make me something to smell like perfume. Ooh, stop the man. You I'm like, I can sell that. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. Sorry we didn't get off track. We didn't get off track. Honey, I sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. <laughs> it's always with me around my neck, in the car, in the trunk, in the back, everywhere. Every room in my house got something that's sanitizable. Okay? Exactly. Y'all, bottom line, let's stay strong, y'all. We can get through this together. This coronavirus is changing everybody's lives, y'all. I know it's making everybody adjust and, you know, we got to do life a little bit different. But, y'all, we're going to get through it. Do what you know to do. And soon as we're going to get back on this cruising and we're going to enjoy it. We're going to do our thing, y'all. So, yes, we are. Stay positive. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. See you, y'all. His glass empty.